Hey everyone, my name is Christos Stavridis and I'm a technical artist at SideFX Labs. In this video, we're taking a look at three new tools added to the Labs Mesh Creation family. Simple Shapes version 2, Capsule, and Hexagon Grid. These expand on the original set, which already includes tools like the Cylinder, Disk, Quad Sphere, and Simple Shapes version 1. Simple Shapes version 2 introduces a whole new range of geometry with powerful viewer state interactions. Now you can manipulate your shapes directly in the viewport with handles, snapping, and visual guides. We've added multiple shape types like stars, polygons, rounded rectangles, and more. It's with interactive guides and snapping options. Simple Shapes version 2 adds new shape types, but the real upgrade is interactivity. Each shape now comes with viewer states, so you can control parameters using handles right in the viewport. Handles can be toggled on or off. They support drag-based control and display helpful guides as you hover, showing range, limits, and snapping cues. You can toggle visual guides, adjust snapping thresholds, and choose from different color options, all designed for a flexible and inclusive workflow. For example, triangles can now snap into equilateral or right-angled forms. Stars and double stars display snapping lines that follow the logic of connecting every nth point. Shapes also have unique logic. Rectangles come with multiple corner styles, including plane, round, round inverse, straight, and cutout, with maximum radius automatically calculated to fit. Polygons have an option to curve their sides, which are automatically divided to support the curvature and maintain smoothness. Square stars offer a cutout option that maintains some nice right angles. The snapping options here are for forming two squares aligned horizontally, one square, or two squares aligned vertically. You can quickly create shapes using simple shapes, which can be used as controllers on a rig or as a profile for the sweep node. The capsule tool is a simple but flexible primitive that's useful across multiple workflows. It's commonly used as a collision proxy or physics boundary, especially for ragdolls, player hitboxes, or simplified physics shapes. In modeling, capsules are great for adding rounded elements like pistons, tubes, or sci-fi details. They're also useful in simulation setups, for quick rigid body testing, or as a personal space indicators in crowd simulations. With adjustable height and radius, this tool gives you clean procedural capsule geometry ready for export, preview, or further processing. Hexagon Grid brings procedural hex patterns into your Houdini toolbox. You can generate the grid as points or full polygons, with Q-based QRS coordinates included by default. This tool was inspired by the excellent resources at Red Blob Games. It implements cube coordinates and includes helpful guides for understanding hex layout and logic. Use it to create motion graphics or export to game engines. QRS coordinates are ready to go for things like tile-based movement and pathfinding or neighbor detection. It was even featured in Bailey's EPC Workshop, a great example of its creative potential. Make sure to check it out. These tools expand the procedural modeling toolkit inside labs. Whether you're designing layouts, setting up rigs, or prepping assets for game workflows, download the latest version of SideFX Labs to get started. And if you have ideas or suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more SideFX Labs updates.